George here. Field day is over. I had a good time. Um, camped out at uh, Mitchell Memorial Forest for two nights. Brought the dogs with me. They enjoyed that. Um, had a good time uh, hanging out with the club, the club members and visitors. And uh, did not get sunburned because I was smart and wore sunscreen. Uh, the weather was pretty good Saturday, a little rain in the morning, and uh, Sunday was hot, though. Um, I'll be uh, posting video uh, and um, photos from uh, field day over the next few weeks. Um, I'm putting together the video to be posted on the club's social media, so I'll be sharing that on my personal stuff uh, after it's been posted. But before I can do that, I need to get my uh, PowerPoint presentation and demo ready for next Tuesday, which will be the next Okayan meeting where I am doing a presentation on packet radio. But I ran into a little technical problem. So here are two Cantronics uh, packet communicator three pluses. The one on the left is my original one, which I bought at RNL. Oh, I don't know, maybe I don't know, four to six months ago. And I got this thing fairly recently, maybe a month ago, up and running as a permanent packet station. And, um, it's a pretty useful little device. But, uh, last week I accidentally fried it, so it's, it's toast. Oh, look, a brand new packet communicator 3 Plus. It's a good thing these things are cheap. Uh, no, wait a minute, they're not. Yeah, the after taxes is like two hundred and twelve dollars. <laughs> it's not exactly a cheap piece of equipment to fry. So I'm in the process of getting my packet station up and running, and uh, it, it, it is uh, it is working. The only thing I have left to do is I need to set the uh, the uh, the uh, beacon text, beacon time. Um, you need to set the. Uh, the uh, the bulletin board's welcome message and a few other minor little things and hammy could care less of my packet stations up and running hi hammy you said you could cat you were a good cat yes you are yes you are oh you do like that don't you such a good cat 